Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel and to my Q&A session time. Um, apparently, I wasn't gonna do a Q&A session if I didn't hit a hundred subscriber. But since I'm around the 60s, I was like, why not just do it now, man? Just you know. But um, yeah. So let's get started. Uh, first question is from Lon Trevor. How often do you learn new dances? Um, let's see. In the past, I used to like learn new dances every like two days. Two? No, not two. I said like once a day, if I have time. But now since I'm... Now since I'm like struggling in school, or not, am I? No? Oh yeah, okay. So I'm, since I'm a little bit struggling in school, I'm just... Um, learning new dances over the uh, over the weekends now, and sometimes on Fridays if I have no plans with friends. So yeah, um, I'll often learn new dances on the weekends, about like two to uh, three hours. Mm -hmm. And next question is from Azar Khaled. I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. <laughs> Forgive me. Uh, so she said. I think the most important question is what drives your motivation to become a singer? Good question. Um, okay, um, my answer is that um, singing is my getaway to be, to be who I am. To to um, it's to be who I am and to express myself out towards people um, so lately I have been really right like how many songs I wrote already I wrote around like eight or nine songs already now I started writing my first song during winter break and I don't know what happened I just write 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 and I just kind of suddenly know how to come up with the lyrics and start doing it so um so yeah that's what motivates me. Um, uh, music, singing, it's like my way of expressing myself to others who I want to be and what I want to be in the future. Uh, next question. Um, Vu Shan. Shan, Shan, Shan. Uh, his questions. When you cook and post pictures, do you really learn inside for someone to eat with? Um, the sad thing is that I don't really cook. I take pictures of the food, but if I do know how to cook that food, maybe yeah, I will. I will. I will want to learn how to cook it and then learn it. Yeah, I will learn. I will learn how to cook it and share with someone with with it but yeah next question is from Bruce Bruce his question is uh, what is your next song going to be based about for example is it love education life dreams etc uh, right now my next song I'm gonna write about my Hmong people um, it's, it's gonna be like a rap song um, it's a rap beat produced by LP it's called the movement so I'm gonna use that beat and wrote my lyrics about my people of about the struggles we go through in here in America so look out for it okay so for the next question Sinya. Uh, um, she had a lot of questions for me, so I think I'm just gonna pay like two or three questions. Um, let's see. How are you able to motivate and cure yourself? Well, um, how to motivate myself? I think of my supporters, my subscribers, my fans. <laughs> I don't think I have any fans, but uh, yeah, so uh, I think of them like I'm most able to keep up what I do in order to let them know that I still do the things that I do. I'm still like trying my best 
out to do the things that I love to do. And um, in of sort, I think of my goals and dreams in order to make progress, um, keep keep on going, keep going, um, going forward. Her next question. Let's see. Who is your inspiration? Um, for singing, I'll say Def Rhyme and uh, BTS, Bata Song Ya Dang. Um, Def Rhyme. Um, I like his music. I like his lyrics. Um, he's a pretty cool guy. I would like to like you know hang out with him one day somehow. Uh, I met him a few times, but I didn't. I barely say hi because I'm a quiet guy. I'm a, I don't know. I'm a quiet. I'm a shy guy for some reason. I should. I should step by my game. Yeah. So um, and Pata Sonia down there, uh, the Korean uh, group boy, they sing and dance. Um, what I like about how them inspiration is that they, they both um, they teach us life lessons. They uh, talk about love, of course, in general. Every every uh, singer to talk about love, but I like I like their um, I like their interpre uh, interpretation more. And they, they want us like to um, go reach for our goals and dreams, and you know that's what I like about them so much. That's uh, that's how they because of them they inspired me so much that that's how I was able to write music. Yeah. Um, and for dancing, for inspiration for dancing, I will say um, BTS choreographer Samsung Duke and uh, the Kinjas. Shout out to Kinjas. And um, so the BTS choreographer, I met him one. I met him. I can't believe that I met him, but um, I met him. He made. He uh, he made. Uh, a dance workshop here in Minnesota, Minneapolis, downtown, and I was able to meet him. Uh, he taught us one of his uh, dance, what he taught for BTS, and um, yeah, uh, so I, I really liked him, I really respect him, I highly, highly, you know, I just, I just can't explain it. He, he, the, 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 the shock thing is that he somehow he, he acknowledged me when I danced and I, I was really happy for that too so that really motivated me more to become like a better dancer too and then, um the Kinjas they 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 just like so wow they're they're um they're just so unique their dance are like art like beautiful art I just can't explain how I just can't explain the feeling you know it's just too beautiful it's too crazy is too phenomenal you know so because of the kinjas they inspired me to become a better dancer too so you guys should check them out too okay uh this is um seeing your last question um well how do you define happiness um happiness i think my definition for happiness is to be yourself um you know just be yourself. Do what do what makes you happy. It goes for your dream, your goal, your whatever that you want to do. You know, you only have one life. It's you know, it's your own story. So you shouldn't let anybody to control your life whatsoever, unless you do something bad. But, um, but yeah, just do just do what you like. Do what you love. Do what you have in passion. You know. Uh, so that's my definition for um. Happiness. And the uh, last question of the session uh, is from when? Um, who's your role model? Mm, I said my role model would be Def Rhyme. Um, he's the first known artist that I really highly respect. That I actually enjoy um, listening listen to the music the most. Yeah, because he has inspired me so much and motivated me so much of his music. Uh, he became a role model. I, I like I would like to like you know write music, produce music, just like how he do it. How to express myself towards uh, like to let to uh, express myself of my feelings. You know how to um, let people know of my story 
so and so I can um, inspire others, motivate others, you know, to connect um, connect with other people too around me, so we so we can have like something common bond with, you know. And he he he's like the um, what I like about him is like even though those haters hate him, he's the bigger person of it. He doesn't make a big deal of it, you know, because haters. What haters support you no matter what either way, right? Haters hate you, and they should give you the power to make you do whatever you do, you know. So yeah, so that's what I like. So he's uh, my role model. Okay, guys, uh, thank you for watching my Q and A session. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Thank you. See you guys next time.